Song of Myself, Part Two of Four Parts. Song of Myself by Walt Whitman, Sections Fourteen to Twenty Six. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to learn how to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. Section 14 The wild gander leads his flock through the cool night. Yahonk, he says, and sounds it down to me like an invitation. The pert may suppose it meaningless, but I, listening close, find its purpose and place up there towards the wintry sky. The sharp-hooved moose of the north, the cat on the house-sill, the chickadee, the prairie dog, the litter of the grunting sow as they tug at her teats, the brood of the turkey-hen, and she with her half-spread wings. I see in them and myself the same old law. The press of my foot to the earth springs a hundred affections. They scorn the best I can do to relate them. I am enamoured of growing outdoors, of men that live among cattle, or taste the ocean or woods, of the builders and steerers of ships, and the wielders of axes and mauls, and the drivers of horses. I can eat and sleep with them, week in and week out. What is commonest, cheapest, nearest, easiest, is me. Me going in for my chances, spending for vast returns, adorning myself to bestow myself on the first that will take me, not asking the sky to come down to my good will, scattering it freely for ever. Section 15 the pure contralto sings in the organ loft. The carpenter dresses his plank. The tongue of his foreplane whistles its wild ascending lisp. The married and unmarried children ride home to their Thanksgiving dinner. The pilot seizes the kingpin. He heaves down with a strong arm. The mate stands braced in the whaleboat. Lance and harpoon are ready. The duck shooter walks by, silent and cautious stretches. The deacons are ordained with crossed hands at the altar. The spinning girl retreats and advances to the hum of the big wheel. The farmer stops by the bars as he walks on a Friday loaf and looks at the oats and rye. The lunatic is carried at last to the asylum, a confirmed case. He will never sleep any more as he did in the cot in his mother's bedroom. The juror printer with gray head and gaunt jaws works at his case. He turns his quid of tobacco while his eyes blur with the manuscript. The malformed limbs are tied to the surgeon's table. What is removed drops horribly in a pail. The quadroon girl is sold at the auction stand. The drunkard nods by the barroom stove. The machinist rolls up his sleeves. The policeman travels his beat. The gatekeeper marks who pass. The young fellow drives the express wagon. I love him, though I do not know him. The half-breed straps on his light boots to compete in the race. The western turkey shooting draws old and young. Some lean on their rifles, some sit on logs. Out from the crowds steps the marksman, takes his position, levels his piece. The groups of new-come immigrants cover the wharf or levee. As the woolly pates hoe in the sugar field, the overseer views them from his saddle. The bugle calls in the ballroom. The gentlemen run for their partners. The dancers bow to each other. The youth lies awake in the cedar-roofed garret and harks to the musical rain. 
the wolverine sets traps on the creek that helps fill the huron the squaw wrapped in her yellow hemmed cloth is offering moccasins and bead bags for sale the connoisseur peers along the exhibition gallery with half-shut eyes bent sideways as the deckhands make fast the steamboat the plank is thrown for the shore-going passengers the young sister holds out the skein while the elder sister winds it off in a ball and stops now and then for the knots the one-year wife is recovering and happy having a week ago born her first child the clean-haired yankee girl works with her sewing machine or in the factory or mill the paving man leans on his two-handed rammer the reporter's lead flies swiftly over the notebook the sign painter is lettering with blue and gold the canal boy trots on the towpath the bookkeeper counts at his desk the shoemaker waxes his thread the conductor beats time for the band and all the performers follow him the child is baptized the convert is making his first profession the regatta is spread on the bay the race is begun how the white sails sparkle the drover watches his drove sings out to them that would stray the peddler sweats with his pack on his back the purchaser higgling about the odd scent the bride unrumples her white dress the minute hand of the clock moves slowly the opium eater reclines with rigid head and just opened lips the prostitute draggles her shawl her bonnet bobs on her tipsy and pimpled neck the crowd laugh at her blackguard oaths the men jeer and wink to each other miserable i do not laugh at your oaths nor jeer you the president holding a cabinet council is surrounded by the great secretaries on the piazza walk three matrons stately and friendly with twined arms the crew of the fish smack pack repeated layers of halibut in the hold the missourian crosses the plains toting his wares and his cattle as the fair collector goes through the train he gives notices by the jingling of loose change the floor men are laying the floor the tinners are tinning the roof the masons are calling for mortar in single file each shouldering his hod pass onward the laborers seasons pursuing each other the indescribable crowd is gathered it is the fourth of seventh month what salutes of cannon and small arms seasons pursuing each other the plower ploughs the mower mows and the winter grain falls in the ground off on the lakes the pike fisher watches and waits by the hole in the frozen surface the stumps stand thick round the clearing the squatter strikes deep with his axe float boatmen make fast towards dusk near the cottonwood or pecan trees coon seekers go through the regions of the red river or through those drained by the tennessee or through those of the arkansas torches shine in the dark that hangs on the chattahoochee or the altamaha patriarchs sit at supper with sons and grandsons and great-grandsons around them in walls of adobe in canvas tents rest hunters and trappers after their day's sport the city sleeps and the country sleeps the living sleep for their time the dead sleep for their time the old husband sleeps by his wife and the young husband sleeps by his wife and these tend inward to me and i tend outward to them and such as it is to be of these more or less i am and of these one and all i weave the song of myself section sixteen i am of old and young of the foolish as much as the wise regardless of others ever regardful of others 
maternal as well as paternal, a child as well as a man, stuffed with the stuff that is coarse and stuffed with the stuff that is fine, one of the nation of many nations, the smallest the same and the largest the same, a southerner soon as a northerner, a planter nonchalant and hospitable, down by the Okanee I live, a Yankee bound my own way ready for trade, my joints, the limberest joints on earth, and the sternest joints on earth, a Kentuckian walking the vale of the Elkhorn in my deerskin leggings, a Louisianan or Georgian, a boatman over lakes or bays or along coasts, a Hoosier, Badger, Buckeye, at home in Canadian snowshoes, or up in the bush, or with fishermen off Newfoundland, at home in the fleet of ice-boats, sailing with the rest and tacking, at home on the hills of Vermont, or in the woods of Maine, or the Texas ranch, comrade of Californians, comrade of free Northwesterners, loving their big proportions, comrades of raftsmen and coalmen, comrades of all who shake hands and welcome to drink and meet, a learner with the simplest, a teacher of the thoughtfulest, a novice beginning yet experient of myriads of seasons, of every hue and caste am I, of every rank and religion, a farmer, mechanic, artist, gentleman, sailor, Quaker, prisoner, fancy man, rowdy, lawyer, physician, priest. I resist anything better than my own diversity, breathe the air, but leave plenty after me, and am not stuck up, and am in my place. The moth and the fish eggs are in their place. The bright suns I see, and the dark suns I cannot see, are in their place. The palpable is in its place, and the impalpable is in its place. Section 17 These are really the thoughts of all men in all ages and lands. They are not original with me. If they are not yours as much as mine, they are nothing, or next to nothing. If they are not the riddle and the untying of the riddle, they are nothing. If they are not just as close as they are distant, they are nothing. This is the grass that grows wherever the land is and the water is. This the common air that bathes the globe. Section 18 with music strong I come, with my coronets and my drums. I play not marches for accepted victors only. I play marches for conquered and slain persons. Have you heard that it was good to gain the day? I also say it is good to fall. Battles are lost in the same spirit in which they are won. I beat and pound for the dead. I blow through my embouchures, my loudest and gayest for them. Vivas to those who have failed, and to those whose war vessels sank in the sea, and to those themselves who sank in the sea, and to all generals that lost engagements, and all overcome heroes, and the numberless unknown heroes equal to the greatest heroes known. Section 19 This is the meal equally set, this the meat for natural hunger. It is for the wicked just the same as the righteous. I make appointments with all. I will not have a single person slighted or left away. The kept woman, sponger, thief are hereby invited. The heavy-lipped slave is invited. The venereal E is invited. There shall be no difference between them and the rest. This is the press of a bashful hand. This the float and odor of hair. This the touch of my lips to yours. 
this the murmur of yearning this the far-off depth and height reflecting my own face this the thoughtful merge of myself and the outlet again do you guess i have some intricate purpose well i have for the fourth month showers have and the mica on the sides of a rock has do you take it i would admonish does the daylight astonish does the early red star twittering through the woods do i astonish more than they this hour i tell things in confidence i might not tell everybody but i will tell you section twenty who goes there hankering gross mystical nude how is it i extract strength from the beef i eat what is a man anyhow what am i what are you all i mark as my own you shall offset it with your own else it were time lost listening to me i do not snivel that snivel the world over that months are vacuums and the ground but wallow in filth whimpering and truckling fold with powders for invalids conformity goes to the fourth removed i wear my hat as i please indoors or out why should i pray why should i venerate and be ceremonious having pried through the strata analyzed to a hair counseled with doctors and calculated close i find no sweeter fat than sticks to my own bones in all people i see myself none more and not a barley corn less and the good or bad i say of myself i say of them i know i am solid and sound to me the converging objects of the universe perpetually flow all are written to me and i must get what the writing means i know i am deathless i know this orbit of mine cannot be swept by a carpenter's compass i know i shall not pass like a child's curlicue cut with a burnt stick at night i know i am august i do not trouble my spirit to vindicate itself or be understood i see that the elementary laws never apologize i reckon i behave no prouder than the level i plant my house by after all i exist as i am that is enough if no other in the world be aware i sit content and if each and all be aware i sit content one world is aware and by far the largest to me and that is myself and whether i come to my own today or in ten thousand or ten million years i can cheerfully take it now or with equal cheerfulness i can wait my foothold is tenoned and mortised in granite i laugh at what you call dissolution and i know the amplitude of time section twenty one i am the poet of the body and i am the poet of the soul the pleasures of heaven are with me and the pains of hell are with me the first i graft and increase upon myself the latter i translate into a new tongue i am a poet of the woman the same as the man and i say it is as great to be a woman as to be a man and i say there is nothing greater than the mother of men i chant the chant of dilation or pride we have had ducking and deprecating about enough i show that size is only development have you outstripped the rest are you the president it is a trifle they will more than arrive there every one and still pass on i am he that walks with the tender and growing night i call to the earth and sea half held by the night press close bare-bosomed night press close magnetic nourishing night 
night of south winds, night of the large few stars, still nodding night, mad naked summer night. Smile, O voluptuous cool-breathed earth, earth of the slumbering and liquid trees, earth of departed sunset, earth of the mountains misty-topped, earth of the vitreous pour of the full moon just tinged with blue, earth of shine and dark mottling, the tide of the river, earth of the limpid gray of clouds, brighter and clearer for my sake, far-swooping elbowed earth rich apple-blossomed earth smile for your lover comes prodigal you have given me love therefore i to you give love o oh, unspeakable passionate love section twenty two you see i resign myself to you also I guess what you mean. I behold from the beach your crooked inviting fingers. I believe you refuse to go back without feeling of me. We must have a turn together. I undress. Hurry me out of sight of the land. Cushion me soft. Rock me in billowy drowse. Dash me with amorous wet. I can repay you. Sea of stretched ground swells, sea breathing broad and convulsive breaths, sea of the brine of life and of unshoveled yet always ready graves, howler and scooper of storms, capricious and dainty sea. I am integral with you. I, too, am of one phase and of all phases. Partaker of influx and efflux, I, extoller of hate and conciliation, extoller of Amy's and those that sleep in each other's arms. I am he attesting sympathy. Shall I make my list of things in the house and skip the house that supports them? I am not the poet of goodness only. I do not decline to be the poet of wickedness also. What blurt is this about virtue and about vice? Evil propels me, and reform of evil propels me. I stand indifferent. My gate is no fault-finder's or rejecter's gate. I moisten the roots of all that has grown. Did you fear some scrofula out of the unflagging pregnancy? Did you guess the celestial laws are yet to be worked over and rectified? I find one side of balance and the antipodal side of balance. Soft doctrine as steady help as stable doctrine. Thoughts and deeds of the present our rouse and early start. This minute that comes to me over the past decillions, there is no better than it and now. What behaved well in the past or behaves well today is not such a wonder. The wonder is always and always how there can be a mean man or an infidel. Section 24 Walt Whitman, a cosmos, of Manhattan the sun. Turbulent, fleshy, sensual, eating, drinking and breeding. No sentimentalist, no stander above men and women or apart from them no more modest than immodest unscrew the locks from the doors unscrew the doors themselves from the jams whoever degrades another degrades me and whatever is done or said returns at last to me through me the afflatus surging and surging through me the current and index i speak the password primeval i sing the sign of democracy by god i will accept nothing which cannot have their counterpart of on the same terms through me many long dumb voices voices of the interminable generations of prisoners and slaves voices of the diseased and despairing and of thieves and dwarfs voices of cycles of preparation and accretion and of the threads that connect the stars and of wounds and of the father stuff 
and of the rights of them the others are down upon of the deformed trivial flat foolish despised fog in the air beetles rolling balls of dung through me forbidden voices voices of sexes and lusts voices veiled and i remove the veil voices indecent by me clarified and transfigured i do not press my finger across my mouth i keep as delicate around the bowels as around the head and heart copulation is no more rank to me than death is i believe in the flesh and the appetites seeing hearing feeling are miracles and each part and tag of me is a miracle divine am i inside and out and i make holy whatever i touch or am touched from the scent of these armpits aroma finer than prayer this head more than churches bibles and all the creeds if i worship one thing more than another it shall be the spread of my own body or any part of it translucent mould of me it shall be you firm masculine coulter it shall be you whatever goes to the tilth of me it shall be you you my rich blood your milky stream pale strippings of my life breast that presses against other breasts it shall be you my brain it shall be your oculent convolutions root of washed sweet flag timorous pond snipe nest of gnarled duplicate eggs it shall be you mixed tussled hay of head beard brawn it shall be you trickling sap of maple fibre of manly wheat it shall be you sun so generous it shall be you vapours lighting and shading my face it shall be you you sweaty brooks and dews it shall be you winds whose soft trickling genitals rub against me it shall be you broad muscular fields branches of live oak loving lounger in my winding paths it shall be you hands i have taken face i have kissed mortal i have ever touched it shall be you i dote on myself there is that lot of me and all so luscious each moment and whatever happens thrills me with joy i cannot tell how my ankles bend nor whence the cause of my faintest wish nor the cause of the friendship i emit nor the cause of the friendship i take again that i walk up my stoop i pause to consider if it really be a morning glory at my window satisfies me more than the metaphysics of books to behold the daybreak the little light fades the immense and diaphanous shadows the air tastes good to my palate hefts of the moving world at innocent gambols silently rising freshly exuding scooting obligingly high and low something i cannot see puts outward libidinous prongs seas of bright juice suffuse heaven the earth by the sky stayed with the daily close of their junction the heaved challenge from the east that moment over my head the mocking taunt see then whether you shall be master section twenty five dazzling and tremendous how quick the sunrise would kill me if i could not now and always send sunrise out of me we also send dazzling and tremendous as the sun we found our own o oh my soul in the calm and the cool of the daybreak my voice goes after what my eyes cannot reach with the twirl of my tongue i encompass worlds and volumes of worlds speech is the twin of my vision it is unequal to measure itself it provokes me further it says sarcastically walt you contain enough why don't you let it out then come now i will not be tantalized you conceive too much of articulation do you not know o oh speech 
how the buds beneath you are folded waiting in gloom protected by frost the dirt receding before my prophetical screams i underlying causes to balance them at last my knowledge my live parts it keeping tally with the meaning of all things happiness which whoever hears me let him or her set out in search of this day my final merit i refuse you i refuse putting from me what i really am encompass worlds but never try to encompass me i crowd your sleekest and best by simply looking towards you writing and talk do not prove me i carry the plenum of proof and everything else in my face with the hush of my lips i wholly confound the skeptic section twenty six now i will do nothing but listen to accrue what i hear into the song to let sounds contribute towards it i hear bravuras of birds bustle of growing wheat gossip of flames clack of sticks cooking my meals i hear the sound i love the sound of the human voice i hear the sounds running together combined fused or following sounds of the city and sounds out of the city sounds of the day and night talkative young ones to those that like them the loud laugh of work people at their meals the angry bass of disjointed friendship the faint tones of the sick the judge with hands tight on the desk his pallid lips pronouncing a death sentence the hevio stevedores unlading ships by the wharves the refrain of the anchor lifters the ring of alarm bells the cry of fire the whir of swift streaking engines and horse carts with promontory tinkles and colored lights the steam whistle the solid roll of the train of approaching cars the slow march played at the head of the association marching two and two they go to guard some corpse the flag tops are draped with black muslin I hear the violin cello, tis the young man's heart's complaint. I hear the keyed cornet, it glides quickly in through my ears. It shakes mad sweet pangs through my belly and breast. I hear the chorus, it is a grand opera. Ah, this indeed is music, this suits me. A tenor large and fresh as the creation fills me. The orbic flex of his mouth is pouring and filling me full. I hear the train soprano. What work with hers is this? The orchestra whirs me wider than Uranus flies. It wretches such ardors from me I did not know I possessed them. It sails me. I dab with bare feet. They are licked by the indolent waves. I am cut by bitter and angry hail. I lose my breath steeped amid honeyed morphine my windpipe throttles in fakes of death at length let up again to feel the puzzle of puzzles and that we call being end of song of myself sections fourteen to twenty six song of myself continues with part three